day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Right? That's the key. So, so now what happened in verse 20? What you got? It says, and he arose and came to his father. But when he was yet a great way off, his father saw him. Now, what's the blessing about that? Huh? <laughs> what do you think about that part? Well, you know, I, I hear a lot of people say he was looking for him. Yeah. You know, or... <coughs> But he doesn't say that. He just thought he, 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 he saw the thought. Yeah. And so, and, and, and I can imagine that, you know, me looking up and seeing one of my sons I haven't seen in, in quite a time. And the compassion that I would have for him, the love that would just flow from the sight of him. In other words, he didn't reject him, in fact, despite what that boy did. Yeah. So he didn't know what he did. He just saw his son. See, we, we think that he knew he went out and did all this, this righteous living. Well, that's a good question, ain't it? Um, because they, as we go back more in the story, how did the older son know that he had righteous living? Well, I'm pretty sure, you know. Uh, Where he got back? You know, he probably shared his story. Okay, that's what you think. Not only that, his appearance had to have said a lot. I, I do want you know, we, we, we're messing other people out on the story, but just for you, because you read the story, the son, the older son, did not have that information. Yeah. I just want you to know, right? He came, yeah. we, we, for those who, the spoiler for the people who don't know the story, but that's okay. We're gonna read it. I just want to, I just want to throw that at you. Is that how did either, either that information was transmitted back to the family concerning this guy's uh, action? Let's read and then we can. Okay, I just want to throw that at you because I, because it's, it's very good for people to know. We ain't gonna read into it, right? We're gonna go back. <laughs> so his father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said unto him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in thy sight and am no more worthy to be called thy son. But the father said to his servant, Bring forth the best robe and put it on him, and put a ring on his hand, and shoes on his feet, and bring hither the fatted calf, and kill it, and let us eat, and be met. Now, you, you remember you said, you read this before in our study. Uh, tell us, you, do you remember the description you gave about the father running to the son and kissing him? What, mm -hmm. what, what was unique about <laughs> that action? You said, well, look, I'm just me reading this man and knowing, knowing the state of his son. Now, his son was out there with tears or whatnot. <laughs> there ain't no telling what he looked like, <laughs> let alone what he smelled like. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> his father still ran and fell upon him, hugged this man and kissed him, even in that state. In that state, ooh, does that tell you something? Did that tell you something? Well, well, I guess I'm trying to say is that, first of all, in my mind, Isaiah that said, our righteousness is like filthy rags. Yeah. So, so the bottom line is if God views our whatever state we're in, it's filthy. Correct? Yeah. And that, that father, we know that boy had no money. So whatever clothes he had on in that pig bed, that's probably the same clothes he had walking back home. Oh, it was more different. He had no money, right? He had no money. He had no shoes. He had no shoes. He didn't tell him. He didn't put some shoes on that boy's feet too, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. So 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 you're right. He this is what you're saying. If he's eating us, which has no nutritional value. <laughs> yeah, no value. So not for no not, not for no man. So obviously he probably was skinny and, and, and looked unhealthy. Which yeah. is, you know, bring the fatty calories. This boy need to eat. <laughs> yeah. So 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 let me get this. So so how does that for for, for people listening in, how does that apply to them? Well, to people, this is what I think they need to grasp out of this is that there's no need for you to try and clean yourself up and for you to try and make yourself presentable because Amen. you cannot Come there's on, nothing bro. you can do especially when you're looking at this state this boy didn't have nothing, nothing. obviously we have nothing and he smelled too to God. you know uh you just come as you are in the Come state on, that you are, Come no on, matter brother. how bad it is. Talk to him. Come to the Father and just be humble. This is what is called a, uh, uh, being broken. Come on, brother. Come on. This is called, it's not that God breaks you. No. Come on. It's not God doing. It is our doing of ourselves. This is God. This is you operating like this prodigal son. You go out on your own. You put yourself in that broken state. But to come to God in that broken state is a powerful thing because yes. that is where you see yes. your unworthiness. Yes. Your, your unrighteous state. And, and, and then the fact that you had the faith to step toward God and present yourself. And that's all that they need. Moves God. That, that moves him right there. Yeah. You know, yeah. so even even as this 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 father accepted his son as though he never left. So Ooh. is God. Come on now. Because so when yeah. you the moment the moment your mind has made that decision is the moment that God no longer sees your outwardness, your sinfulness. He Come sees on. his son. Yes. That's what he sees. He sees his son from afar. And he, with his hands open wide. Come on now. And he accepts you. Man, you talking. You talk, see, and I, that's what I'm saying is that's, see, I think Christ is trying to bring these things out in that parable, just like all the other parables, is come as you are. Don't, don't, don't think that you have fallen so far that he won't have compassion on you and bring you back. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, and then he'll throw the flip side on that for you. Fellow Christians, who came in just maybe like the prodigal son or maybe less degree of the prodigal son or maybe more degrees of the prodigal son. Don't treat somebody in that state who's trying to come to the father mm -hmm. and reject him. That's what we have out here, don't we? They, they, that is uh, something. There is a multitude of folks that are stepping into that that unrighteous act. Yes. You know, and those are it's what I would call an antichrist action. Yes, sir. Now you anti-Christ. Yes. Yes. And they don't understand it. Call it anything other than. Because that's anti Christ, anti way of Christ. Yes. It's anti Christ. Come on. Now we got something. You got, you, you see where I'm coming from? And so, you know, and then you have, that's why you can call everybody Christian. 
That's why the situation can be called Christ-like. Yes. When you're Christ-like, you are Christ-like. You are Christ-like. You are not. So yes. you can have somebody who is a child of God that has been engrafted. Yes. Unrighteous ass. Yes. Ass and are anti-Christ in that particular situation. Yeah. 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 Because they have not had their mind removed no. to the point to where love perceives self. Yes. And Woo. that is the thing that we are trying to get to where self does not take the forefront of Christ. Mm. That mm. love is always there in Christ's response instead of self response yes we are trying to get that in every situation every circumstance every need every 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 conflict every action every moment of our life we we need christ to respond yes not self yes. and when we get to that point which you know i can't you definitely Anybody getting to that point, because we are still wrapped in this flesh. Yes. But that is the race that we run. That's the race. That's the that's the Christianity he's trying to portray to people. See, see, our world, you know, you were the ones nobody sucking up on a limit when they when they, they talk about hate sin and and they're projecting it on the person. See, yeah. that that's that's opposite of what this parable that Christ gave is showing. God has taken you as you are, <clears throat> not despising you, looking out for you. If you if and when, we, when he was looking out on the bottom line, if he see you coming, he's not operating in the sense of condemnation. No. No. Love, love. <laughs> love is love. Love can no other kind of way but to to love. Yes, sir. And even in, in pulling away, there's love. Yes, sir. And 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 allowing you to walk out your destiny is love. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And whether you accept that love or not, love is demonstrated by not. Forcing you to to return love. That's love. That's love. Having no expectation, having having no purpose other than for love. That's called agape. That is a call agape, unconditional love. Hey, look at this. Look at this. There is nothing. There's no requirement. Come on. Come on. Other than to accept it, and when you reject it. But love doesn't change. Doesn't change on his side. It's, it's we who reject we. it. We change. Yeah. Yeah. And rejection changes us. You know what it does? It, it, it hardens our heart. Yes. It, 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 it distances us. It brings us to a foreign land. And it puts us under control of a certain person mm. who does not know your wealth, your purpose, and will put you in a field serving swine. swine. Yeah, dirty field, and make you eat their food because they don't care. Yeah. And that's how the, that's that's society. And therefore, we're trying to tell the, the 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 body of Christ is don't be like that person. You know, be like Christ. And when someone comes, don't don't despise them don't reject them love them and point if not if you can't do nothing just point back to the father but what we have we have that's what i'm saying i think we got this when we're talking about earlier is about where we somewhere along the line we thought it was okay to burn people to the states somewhere along the line we thought it was better to do all kind of atrocity to them during the dark age and then our court obviously during our time here um, in our condition and then even today people don't they don't understand that's what we're reading 
And let me put it back up here for the people to see. What we're reading is saying, this is how he wants us to be, not despising. That father came to that man, like you said, that boy that most likely was smelling, dirty, raggedy clothes, skinny and hungry, and he still kissed him. He was innocent and unworthy. He he, was, he said that. He and did. Wow. Wow. We do that. But 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 we still need to understand that we find ourselves in both of these sons. The purpose of this parable is not to be one son over the other, it's to be as the father. You, you, God told you that, brother. <laughs> Seriously, do you see my point? This story, I mean, it started off as saying, what a father and two sons. The central theme was not. That's what I'm saying is that we'll watch how people do it. When by just putting that title, Prodigal Son, take us off the focus of the Father. Because he, and I like what you said, that it's not about us being either being the son, the younger son, or the older son. Those are the roles that we seem to step back and forth on. But the role that he wants us to be is the Father. And that's powerful by itself. That's the gospel. That is the gospel, bro. I mean, that's a, and even, look, if we had, this was a church service right now, somebody needed to be playing the organ, and everybody needed to be jumping up and down and saying, I'm going to be like the father. Huh? Mm -hmm. And they'll go home and they'll look at their children, they'll look at their loved ones, instead of sitting there despising and saying, you're dirty, you're nasty, Frank. You know, how some of the wives be on some of the husbands? You're nasty, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, you're, you're, you're no good. You, you'll never be nothing. Opposed to, Frank, God loves you. And I love you too. And I know that you could be better than what you're doing. I know it. And I'm looking forward to it. 